Times now, and Scott, this story actually makes me want to go to the theatre. Um, well, the, a rowdy audience brought down the curtain on the Bodyguard musical uh, at the Palace Theatre in Manchester. I watched the video; it was hilarious. It was actually really two people: a woman yeah. and some other guy. And during uh, when, they, when, when at, near the end of the show, when she's when the lead actress is singing uh, "I Will Always Love You," you know the Whitney Houston song, this woman yeah. stood up in the balcony, started Wait, yelling. I think we got a clip actually. Oh right, that's how, no, it's not me. Right. Uh, she, she looks a bit like you, I recognize Rob. this woman. Oh, hello. Here she we go. She had broader shoulders. Oh, yeah, I yeah, know yeah. her. She and they her. called the riot police yeah. on her. and she they was moved in the front her. And bucket. Well, they moved her pretty quickly. And they Whoa. almost pushed her over the balcony. See, Whoa. her back is to the balcony yeah. there. So, and people are yelling. Sturgeon? <laughs> it looks a bit like her. Oh, can you imagine? She went over. It's over actually it. two women. And that would, would be, be my <laughs> point is, it, it, from, I don't know about you guys, you, you're 20, 30 years in stand-up. For right. me, it's always drunk women. Are the well, point. they can be difficult. Yeah. And the White security, wine. I'm surprised the security handling her so, mm. so hard because, you know, when you're playing the comedy store, the one that used to remain in, in Manchester, they couldn't touch the women. You can't touch women. Mm. You, you can't. No, because you don't know because there's nothing. It's all skin. <laughs> right. Well, there's that. And but also and they're aware of that. So they really got. And then the guy, you can hear them singing when the lights go down, and the song starts. Mm. And so then the show stopped and then it didn't resume. So people didn't see the final number. Mm. This happened also with a musical in Glasgow and about a large part of as I said, about 50 percent of theater staff throughout the country are thinking of resigning because they just cannot cope with the angst they receive well, from audiences. I make more money at McDonald's. Uh, but yeah. yeah, what do you think? Is this? Or is uh, I mean, is this a trend? People are saying it's like after COVID and things have reopened and people have sort of lost their civility yeah, and don't I mean, know how to behave in public. Yeah. I really hope so. I mean, I can't believe something worth watching happened in a theatre. Well, it was it's Manchester. Yeah, it yeah. Was yeah. Manchester. As soon as I read Manchester, I was like, this didn't happen in the West End. I was yeah. like, oh, Manchester. Oh yeah, yeah. When I did uh, Manchester Comedy Store, I remember there was a group that were heckling me because I was I was Scottish and they got yeah. all rowdy and started, you know, I was, I was you know putting them down and stuff. And then uh, so security bundled them out because they started getting really aggy. And then they didn't chuck. chuck them out. They just put them in the foyer. I had to walk through the group of men to leave. I started a riot in Manchester. Oh, the print, do you ever do the print works? That's no. a problem. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's about 400 people, about 200 people, like, absolutely went berserk. And oh, the wow. security had to escort me out the back. They had, like, six security around me and had to sort of bundle me out through the back <laughs> way. You still got it. You yeah, still yeah, got yeah. it. Smashed yeah. it, mate. Yeah. Anyways, <laughs> time now for a few ads. Uh, this haircut doesn't pay for itself. But... 